what's up, Canomando Squad? Welcome to Canomando Extra, where you get some extra Canomando. That's a bit more fun, all right? Today, we're gonna be watching this video called Do All Asian Americans Think the Same? Oh, shit. Uh, we've done something similar to this. So, this video is called Do All Asian Americans Think the Same? And we're gonna see if we think the same as them. All right, all right. let's go. Asian stereotypes and jokes are so played out. Yeah. If it's the same shit that we've heard for the last 50 years, like, miss me with that. It's so boring at this point. Yeah. Wait, 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 what the fuck is this white lady doing here, yo? She's like, mixed. She's not all Asian Americans look the same, okay? <laughs> she's going to videos like, yeah, yo, do all Asian Americans look the same? First off, I'm pretty sure she's full Asian. She, she, she does, does not, not look full she's Asian. Not every Asian is fucking mm -hmm. East Asian, okay? okay like you, alright? In case you haven't noticed, we are Asian. Are you fucking <laughs> stupid? <laughs> obviously, <laughs> <you're more laughs> Asian. What do you think I am? You think I'm black? Asian food is better than American food. Agreed, yo. Agreed. That's a hard agree. That's, That's a hard, hard agree. agree. Easy agree. Easy. What? Oh, shit. When I grew up, you know, my parents were both people from Vietnam. Like, they wanted us to assimilate as much as possible and not be made fun of. So I'm from Texas, so I grew up on like chicken fried steak and biscuits and all that kind of stuff. So I, I fucking love American food. This guy's the most white sounding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys, you guys, I actually Asian food, right? Asian food is like, there's so much Asian food. There's Korean food, yeah. Chinese yeah. food, Japanese food. Let's get into some specific niches then. Korean food or American food? Korean food, American food. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. Why? What do you Why? Why? Burgers, pizza, you know, Chicago deep dish pizza, ribs, smoked barbecue, Popeye's fried chicken. Oh shit, that's, that's true. That's, that's true, that's true. Korean food. No, no. no. <laughs> no. You're gonna talk about fried chicken. American fried chicken slaps Korean fried chicken. No. Actually, oh, that's not true. You go down south, you go to those home. I've actually Asian been places. down south and it's not as good as Korean fried chicken. To be honest, so, so don't try to so, be the middleman, bro. <laughs> Just take a pick a side line. <laughs> Chinese food or American food? Chinese food. food. Japanese food or American food? Japanese food. food. Filipino food? Filipino food. food. <laughs> There are some countries where I think that American food might, might beat out that singular Asian country because that country's small. I have felt pressure to date within my own race. Three? Really? Interesting, interesting. Whoa. My mom never specifically said it, but it was almost like if I don't bring home a Korean or a Caucasian, which is her preference, like, I don't know if she's gonna disown me. I don't know, will, will she kind of push away a little bit from me? And I don't want that. Facts, bro. I'm not gonna lie, Asian parents are strong. White person or Asian person? I'm dating a Middle Eastern girl, my mom is okay with that. Your mom will prefer you to date Cantonese yeah. girl. You're you saying my mom would prefer me dating a white girl over over my girl, current girlfriend? Like, I, I don't, I, I wouldn't say so. My mom has a close relationship with her current girlfriend. Like, I don't know about white girl versus current girl, but prior to you dating a current girlfriend, she probably- so, 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 so this is what it is. It's prior to you doing it, they always have a thing for what they want. And after you do it, they realize that it's actually good as long as you bring home a good person. Right, right, so the question is, are you pressured by your parents? Yeah, I personally don't feel pressure. I felt pressure from your mom. <laughs> I'm talking to her. My mom and my girlfriend are, have a very good relationship right now. Even if someone is closed minded at the beginning, go for what you want to do and your parents eventually sure. accept it or they, they'll live in forever upset. But you've you never, never felt pressure. pressure. I don't have pressure. I'm surprised you because I felt pressure from your mom. I felt pressure from, from your mom too. Yeah. I didn't know that I had two brothers. Asian stereotypes are fun. <laughs> Yo, this guy, oh. this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like oh wait, somewhat disagree. Oh, oh he wanted to agree and then and then he felt pressure from the yeah, yeah, yeah. He thought he'd be outcasted. What do you guys think? Stereotypes taken literally are not a good thing. I think if it's presented in a way that is not harmful, I guess that's debatable whether people say it's harmful or not. Exactly. Harmful. It all depends on the context. Do you think it's funny? Yeah. I think it can be funny. Let's say I eat food, right? I'm doing my cooking challenges. And then I use a fucking chopstick to whisk everything. That's the Asian stereotype. Aha, Asians use chopsticks for everything. It's like, yeah, it can be funny. I think that those are traditionally not offensive Asian stereotypes. So what if I say like this? What if I say this? Oh, Ching Ling, why don't you do your math homework? Then what the fuck would you say that, bro? <laughs> Even things that are not stereotype. If you go up to be like, hey, what up, black man? To a black person, that's not fucking offensive. Nothing is funny by itself. It is the intent and the delivery of what it, it, makes, what it, it makes it funny. If I go to a comedy show and the guy's like, yeah, man, fuck these Asians, dude. They set, like, they got fucking so many people all calling all over the world. I just step on them like ants. I might laugh. <laughs> you know, I might laugh if he delivers it in a funny way. But does that mean I'm racist? No, it doesn't mean it. Stereotypes? are funny when it's put in the right context. And they're also extra harmful yeah, if they're put in the wrong context. context. Yeah, exactly. So they're like a 10% scroll. <laughs> and also I, I write comedy. And so I'm constantly thinking of ways to maybe subvert a stereotype to get a laugh. I feel like it's always dangerous though, because you never know if the joke 
is going to be perceived as like, oh, they're making fun of this stereotype or they're reinforcing this stereotype. But even then you're saying like the stereotype itself is not funny, but your subversion of it is. Wait, but that, wait, wait, that, that is that everything. The apple, is that funny? If you put apple in a funny context, it becomes funny. There's no inherently one funny thing. By the way, the guy's judging him so hard. Yeah, yeah I saw that, I saw that, I saw that. Maybe I'll move down, see? <laughs> yeah, this, this guy's just being pressured. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah. he's really Yo, pressured. come on, man. Yo, set up for your, what you believe in. Yeah, set up for funny. Come on, man. I totally understand from another point of view how that's absolutely inappropriate. But from a personal level, I'm not offended, I'm not hurt. Some of them are actually like, yeah, yeah, that's kind of true. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I might move again. <laughs> oh! oh like, confidence again. Growing up with like Asian men have small penises and all sorts of other emasculating kind of stereotypes. Those kind of stereotypes play into like, why can't I be the love interest? Because I have a small penis, but I don't actually know that. And why does it matter? How do you not know if you have a small penis? Yeah, you, it's <laughs> very easy to find out if you have a small penis. penis. If you don't know you have a small penis, you have oh. a small penis. Yeah, yeah. Because you can't see it. This question is, are Asian stereotypes funny? It's not, are mm. negative Asian stereotypes funny? You can see Asians, I feel a lot of Asians actually think it's funny, but they can't admit it because they don't get canceled. And the reason why is if people like Stephen He, people like us, when we started making skits, who's watching that? Yeah, Asian, Asian people. people. They're laughing. They're laughing at stereotypes that we're making ourselves. A small penis joke is funny in the right context. It can be funny, but are the repercussions of it too strong? I guess like when you say, when, when the statement is Asian stereotypes are funny, I'm often thinking about Western stereotypes about yeah. Asians. And I'm like, yeah. no. Not funny. Do you think Western stereotypes are funny? I watched, uh, like, like, I watched the, the white kid who ca talks back to his mom. Is that not funny? Mom, give me my personal space, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. Western what? standard Asian people is like that fact that Asian people are good at math. Asian restaurants are dirty. Asian people, uh, Asian people can't drive. I, when white people make fun of Asians, is it funny? It's but if an Asian makes fun of, a, fun of an Asian, then it's gonna be more likely to be funny. You know that scene when, when in, in the Family Guy where Peter needs a calculator, but he pulls out an Asian guy <laughs> to do math? Did you find that funny? Let's be honest. Did you find that funny? It's a little funny. It was racist. I too thought it was funny. I will move to my heritage country permanently. Oh! He's super conflicted on this one. <laughs> I might as well go to Vietnam or not. It's a funny thing that happens when I go back to China, which is like the feeling that I never get here, which is like when you walk onto a public street, you feel like you're not identified by what you look like which is amazing. But that being said, like I feel culturally, I'm American. I love being here. And I think that being like an individual with freedom is like part of who I am in the sense that like, I wouldn't necessarily fit in in China. And I feel like so much of the time we're like asked to be like, well, are you Asian or are you American? It's like, no, like, I'm Asian American. I know Mike, but Mike's like, Mike's yes, 100%, right? Actually, I don't know, go back. Would you go back if you were 12? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, 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 yeah. What kind of question is go back in time and ask me that question? Dude, would you? Would your parents even be there? Your parents wouldn't be there. Now you're trying to make me say no. I'm not. I just says, would you move back? I didn't say, would you move your entire family back? Yeah, I would move back permanently for. I would. I would. You know what you have set up here, right? Your family, your girlfriend, your friends. I understand, but I mean, job. They want to ask you because they're asking you if you fit in. If you think you fit in into the lifestyle, if you go back to the country. Because then there's the same question as culture perspective. Yes, I would. Would you? would? I fit back. Yeah, I fit pretty well in the culture there. You're saying, would you do it? I would. My definition of Asian American is fitting into both cultures. What do you say? I probably wouldn't do it. I've been to China. I feel like I'm among my people, but at the same time, I kind of feel like I do not. Yeah. I can feel the fact that if I would do something that I would do here on the street, people would look at me weird. Mm -hmm. let, let, let me ask a question. You're back there, Canadian guy's there, and a Chinese guy's there. Who do you feel more connected to? That's a very, very tough question. It's a very tough question because with the Canadian guy, I can talk about Raptors, I can talk about Canada. Yeah. With the Asian guy, I can talk about like my growing up, my childhood growing up. Yeah. I guess. Dealt with. I can relate with this guy. And grab a cold one, bud, right? <laughs> and I can this guy <laughs> and then get some uh, late night snack from Chinese. Food. Yeah. If you asked me if I would move, I would move. So you can come back. So I, I can't I can go vacations. Sure, you can come back. I, I would move. I would move. I do feel the cultural difference. Like, even though I look like everyone, I listen to almost 100% Chinese music. I love Chinese everything. There's still a cultural difference. Like, mm -hmm. I definitely think I'm a lot more westernized than I am Eastern, even though I, I love the culture. Last thing is this, okay? Chinese letters, bubble tea. Canadian basketball team. Or, no, the best thing is right here, bro. Yay, yeah, 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 gang! Yeah, 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 yeah. Asian culture is important to me. The pressure. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, shit, <laughs> man. It's important to me. <laughs> don't, 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 it's all right. It's okay. Be confident, bro. Sometimes I forget 
that I'm Asian, and then like it's kind of jarring to be reminded that I am. Mm. I'm a military brat, and so even though I grew up in Korea, it was on the military base, and so it was like an American high school in like a small American city in the middle of Seoul. Me and my brother were usually the only Asian kids, so I remember kind of like, do I want to stand out as like the only Asian kid, or do I just want to be another one of the kids? It's like you grow up, you're like socialized to fit in, right? Yeah. And it often means casting aside like the culture that you grew up in. I feel like we're all experiencing it to some degree of like, hey, should I like look into like where I came from more? That is extremely sad because I can imagine the mom or the parents making that choice to not celebrate Chinese New Year just so that they think yeah. they're doing the right thing for the kid. If you have kids in the future, force that culture on your kids. Force that culture, yo. Yeah, all right, guys, that's the first episode. Thanks guys for watching. Click here to watch our most recent video and click here to watch a video that you think you'll love. If you guys enjoyed it, subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.